Hello guys. You will forgive me. I have some problems with my mic, so my voice might have some issues here and there. Forgive me about that. But then we have to work either way. So this is it. Here, Mrs. Mkize deposits twelve thousand rand into her account. Then two years later, let's take note of this. Two years later, she adds another six thousand rand. That is now here we have more than one deposit made in a row. So if that is the case, or in such cases, it is way way too difficult to directly use the simple interest or the compound interest. So in such cases, we need to, to we need to make use of what we call a a timeline. We need to make use of what we call a timeline. Okay, now let's quickly view or make a review of our notes. Here are my notes. These are, these are the notes that I've made for you. So, when do we use a timeline? We use a timeline when there are changes in amount while invested. So, maybe if I invested a um, 1,000 rand today, then tomorrow I decide to withdraw some 500. Then now, there are changes in the money that I have invested. So this means uh, the, uh, I should need I should I might need to use a timeline in order to calculate the the money that I will get at the end of my period. Let me just say that. So when we are dealing with calculations of more than one interest or deposits or withdrawals, we use a timeline. So on our case, we have more than one deposits that means we're gonna need a timeline of course meaning that once there are more than one interest or deposits or withdrawals we cannot use a simple com a simple or compound interest directly i guess i have already mentioned all of these things so for deposits we use the positive sign then for withdrawals we use the negative sign um, treat each amount separately and let it grow until the last period so this means you need to calculate the first amount then you, you, you get done then you go to the next you are once you are done you can proceed to the other until you are done now let's put all this into action so here this is my solution. This is my solution. Um, okay. This is what you are going to do. The question says, for how or how much will she have after five years now? So we are focused on this period of five years then this is it this is how you draw a timeline so here i will have t naught or t0 t initial then here i will have t1 i will have t2 t3 t4 and t5 wow why Chawana this does not start on T1? The the reason I start on T naught is because here um here it's when she deposits this it's when she deposit this top thousand. So this is when she started. So there is no interest end so far. 
then she starts earning interest here this uh, uh, t1 then t2 so now if you can count together with me this is one then this is two so this is two years now so this is after after two years then after two years she decided to add a six thousand rand into her account so here she decided to add a six thousand rand from her account mind you that in these two years this money have been have been increasing or appreciating by 7.5 percent compounded um, per month so from from here now from here we go one two and then three years so this is our timeline we want to know the amount she will have here at t5 okay let's do like this i hope this video is making sense and helping someone out there with financial mathematics let me put my timeline there then work so let me pick the white color we will firstly focus on the first um two we will firstly focus on the first two years so here a let me say a1 is equal to p1 1 plus i all raised to the power n so here a1 is we don't know a1 so p1 is the amount that she invested the principal amount which is 12 12,000 rand 1 plus then i is 70 is 7,5 to convert this because we, we when we substitute it here it should be in decimals so you say 7 over 5 divided by 100 then you get 0, 0,075 then you take this number say 0, 0,075 here all divide that all divide that by by 12 the number of months the number of months in a year since they said compounded month then you raise it so so far we are focused on the first two years since they say two years later that means after two years she added this money so in these two years then now i will have two for two years times 12 which is the number of months in a year so a1 is equal to 12,000 into 1 plus 0 0.075 all divided by 12 then all raised that to the power of 2 times 12 which is 24 then now we get 13,935 935 comma 50422 wow I need to create some space so I need to make this a little bit small this money is approximately a1 is approximately 13,935,50 cents so now after two years she decided to add after two years she decided to add this 6,000 rand so this means that 
on top of this A1, I will add 6,000 rand and get P2. Let me pick another color, yellow. Let me pick another color, yellow. But firstly, let me make some space. I will take this timeline and put it somewhere over there. Then, this is what happens. A2 is equal to P2 into 1 plus I all raised to some power N. So now, if you can notice, if you can notice now, then P2, P2, P2 is equal to A1 plus 6,000 rand. P2 is equal to A1 plus 6,000 rand. 6,000 rand. Since she made this, she made this 6,000 deposit on on top of on top of she adds this 6,000 on top of this amount since uh, Imalia have been growing and growing um, Pioneer Bank. So A2 is equal to P1 is equal to so I will take this number here as my A1. I am not going to take this one. The reason I am not going to take this one because this one has been rounded off and we do not take rounded off numbers. If you can see, A1 is equal to this. Therefore, A1 is approximately equal to this. So, me taking that number plus 6,000, on my side, I get 199.35.50422. One plus, then now my interest rate hasn't changed. So again, I will have 0, 0.075 PA, divide that by 12, then raise to. So now I am left with one, two, three years since I have already calculated the amount she had in two years. So now I am left with three years. So my N here will be three times 12, three times 12. Let me make this a little bit small. I have a little room. I don't have much space, that's the thing. Okay. Let me increase here. I will have three years times 12 months. So I will have three times 12. I will have whatever, 36 months, yeah. So A2 is equal to, you can punch this on your calculator. You can punch that on your calculator, which is that answer plus one plus zero point zero seven five divide by twelve, all raised to the power three times twelve. Then here I get twenty four thousand. I get twenty four thousand nine hundred and forty eight. Point two zero nine seven one. Forgive me about my writing, guys. A two, therefore, A two is approximately twenty four nine four eight point twenty one cents. So at the end of five years. This means that at the end of five years, Mrs. Mkize had 24,000 rands, 948, 21 cents. And thank you very much. Please make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you subscribe.